Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. In this series of videos, we're gonna be talking about core concepts and strategies for the early childhood teacher certification exams. Use this video and other videos to help you on your teacher certification exam. Another aspect of all early childhood exams is children's literature. You're gonna have a whole bunch of questions involving children's literature. We wanna think about exposure to different types of literature as a way to build early literacy skills. Within early literature, there's lots of different types of books. There's books like Brown Bear, Brown Bear. And we think of Brown Bear, Brown Bear, not only is an early childhood education book, but it's also something called a concept book. It reviews core concepts. Brown Bear, Brown Bear does what? Animals, it reviews, teaches animals and animals and colors. Concept books have to do with animals, colors, days of the week, articles of clothing, geometric shapes, letters of the alphabet, and numbers, right? You've, if you're a parent out there, you bought a book that helped teach uh, the ABCs. Maybe you bought a book that had to do with the one, two, threes, or books about the first 100 words, or geometric shapes. Any book involving building vocabulary, geometric shapes, the alphabet, numbers, uh, animals, these are all concept books. They're helping build out a child. They're giving the child they're giving the child exposure to essential concepts or essential schema that they're gonna need later down the line. Okay, concept books. What about this one right here? Now this isn't a narrative text, it's not that. It's just a one line, it's a page in a book, and it's teaching, the double O is a vowel diagraph, it's teaching phonics. So this one right here is called a decodable text. Decodable texts are used to teach phonics rules, that letter sound correspondence stuff for beginner readers, all right? Concept books, decodable texts. What about this one here? Well, this one here is called a picture book. Well, Dr. Seuss and the Lorax, it's, it's a picture book and it's a rhyming text and there's a whole bunch of things going on there. But if we just think about this picture book here and picture books in general, we think of the pictures or images or photos in a book as a way of supporting the story. Look at this one right here. The picture is showing a house where all the grass and trees and everything alive has died. It's showing how pollution is impacting the environment. So the picture is helping the reader get involved in the story of the book. Because there's only a, a limited amount of text there, the picture sort of makes up for the stuff that's not in the writing. So you wanna have an awareness of what a concept book is, what a decodable text is, what are picture books, uh, what is a narrative text? Like Peter Rabbit would be a great one for a narrative text. That's something with a setting, a plot, characters, or informational text, like an article or a newspaper or science magazine on specific informational topic. So these are all different types of early children's literature. This portion of the test is 20 questions. It's like a mini foundations of reading exam built into the early childhood. So not only do you need to know early childhood development theory, and all those rules and laws for special education. Now you have to incorporate into this multi-subject test foundations of reading. Lot of information here. Let's just look at some of the questions. This one right here is on picture books. I'll read over number four. It says, number four, picture books are an essential part of children's literature primarily because they feature A, repetition and other elements that foster children's appreciation for language, B, rhyming words and sentences that reduce the cognitive demands on young readers. C, images that promote young readers' understanding of complex events or relationships. Or D, grammatical structures that mimic conversation and strengthen children's communication skills. Okay, let's do this one like we've done with some other videos. Let's just highlight some specific phrases. First, I'm gonna highlight our tier three idea. We're thinking about picture books. And when I think pictures, I'm gonna write down here, picture books, images, or diagrams. So picture books have to do with images, photos, diagrams, picture book. A talks about repetition. When I think about repetition, I'm thinking about alliteration, like Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Or I'm thinking about rhyming, cat, hat, sat. And these things, alliteration and rhyming, we find a lot in poems. Not all picture books have that alliteration and rhyme going on. What about B? B has rhyming words. Uh, and it's talking about reducing the cognitive demands for that young reader. A and B are really referring to poems. What about C? 
Well, C is our answer. It has to do with images. Picture books have to do with images. And it's helping that young reader, so that preschooler or kindergartner, understand complex events, like the impact of pollution. Who sees it now? The answer is C. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. If you like this video, press the like button below or subscribe to our channel. This allows us to do more videos for teachers on their teacher certification exams. And if you need additional help, you can come and check out a Go Academy workshop or webinar or tutoring. You go to www.goacademy.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.